How to edit fulfillment of your synced product listings. There are many reasons you may want to update the fulfillment of your products after exporting them to your store. From the CustomCat platform, you can edit anything related to the fulfillment of your listings, including the design or the products used to fulfill the orders for items in that listing. In order to see all of your product listings, click My Products in the left navigation menu. From there, select the store for the products you'd like to view. Please note that page load time is dependent on the number of listings in your store. This will take the longest the first time you view your products. If listing updates are made on your e-commerce platform and you don't see those changes reflected in your CustomCat account, you can click Refresh to retrieve updated data on all of your listings. Since we plan to update a CustomCat product in this tutorial, we'll move to the Synced tab. Now, we're only looking at products being sent to CustomCat for fulfillment. Any product with at least one variant synced to CustomCat will be listed in the Synced tab. For information about syncing fulfillment of existing product listings to CustomCat, we have another tutorial that reviews that process in detail. On the My Products page, your products will be listed with the most recently created or edited products at the top of the page. Here, you'll see a summary of all sorts of product information, including listing image and title, a summary of synced variants, and inventory notices for any out-of-stock or discontinued products. If you want to edit anything related to fulfillment, such as design or garment, click Update Fulfillment. Please note that any changes made here will only affect fulfillment of your item and will not overwrite listing information. To edit your product listing information, you will need to re-export your products. For detailed information about this process, please see our tutorial on how to edit product listings from your CustomCat account. After clicking Update Fulfillment, you can see all variants in the listing, the mock-up images associated with each variant, whether that variant is in stock, whether that variant is synced to CustomCat, the list price, the product currently being used to fulfill that listing, and your fulfillment cost for that item. If you'd like to make changes to the fulfillment of that product variant, click Resync. This will bring you to our product editor. Here, you can make changes to anything related to backend fulfillment of that particular variant. You'll notice that we display your original product mockup, variant color, and variant size at the top of the product editor just in case you forget which product variant you're modifying. You may choose to update the fulfillment of a particular product variant if there are stock availability issues, a discontinued product color, or a discontinued product style. To update the product size or color, simply update the selection. If you'd like to remap the variant to an entirely different catalog product, you can click Select Different Product. From here, you'll enter our product catalog. You can browse products by category to find a similar product to the one in your original listing. In this example, we'll select the Z61X t-shirt to replace the NL3600 variant in our listing. This is a great way to increase our margins with a similar item. Next, we'll select the most similar garment color and size. After clicking Save Product, to save our changes, we'll return to the Product Fulfillment Details page. If we'd like to apply the changes we made to the entire listing, we can do so by clicking the three dots below Resync and clicking Sync to All Variants. Now, let's go through how to update your design. You may want to update the design associated with your listing if you notice an error in your design, want to edit your design placement, update your design colors, or if you increase the resolution of your image for better print outcomes. To upload or select a different design for this variant, click the Design tab. You'll notice this looks a lot like our product designer. From here, you can upload a new design file from your computer or select one from your design library. If you'd like to add an additional print area or modify design positioning, you can do so here as well. Click Save Product to save your changes you'll be returned to the Product Fulfillment Details page. If you'd like to apply the design changes you made to the entire listing, 
Click the three dots below Resync. Then select Sync to All Variants to apply changes to the entire listing. If you'd like for CustomCat to ignore orders for certain variants, if, for instance, you have inventory for those variants and will be fulfilling those yourself, you can click Ignore to keep us from retrieving orders for those variants. If at any time you'd like us to resume fulfillment of orders for those variants, click Ignored to undo that action. And that's everything you need to know about updating the fulfillment of your synced product listings. For more Custom Cat tutorials, plus frequently asked questions, tips, tricks, and more, visit customcat.com.